The cameras are fixed to one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Newcastle United up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Promising move this from Newcastle. But they dealt with the threat posed. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the oh, posts. Oh, Derek, big moment here. And a goal! They start as they need to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Well, for Newcastle United, you have to say it was a good performance and result in the last match against Aston Villa. What do you expect this time, Stuart? Well, Derek, this isn't looking great for them at present. They need to perform much better over the next few games, otherwise they're going to be in big trouble, that's for sure. Oh, Stuart, an opportunity! Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And there's the delivery. Terrific block. Trippier. Oh, the threat is there. Almiron. Can he finish this? And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. Who can they pick out? No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Arsenal did well to win back possession. Gabriel Jesus, he's in with a chance. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Who can he pick out? Touched onto the woodwork. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. And offside by the merest of margins. Throw in then for Newcastle. This looks more than decent. Trippier and missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. <laughs> Martinelli. And take it away. That they look as though they want to make this move count. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. He'll try his luck here. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Martin Odegaard. Now with Jesus. Vieira. Nicely timed tackle.
Jack has lost the ball. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Oh, could have given them an even healthier advantage. Well, it's a good effort to extend their lead, but the game's still in the balance here. And news of a goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Alex, tell us all about it. It's a goal for Spurs. It's now 1-0 with 30 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Error by the keeper. Oh. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Oh, the penalty's been given. And it's not what they had in mind. It's falling apart for them. And the referee will take his name as well. Yeah, it was a poor challenge. And the referee is absolutely right to take his name. Can they extend their lead? And the keeper denies them from the spot. Delivering it. Not all that convincing defensively. Has a go. Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Good use of advantage by the referee. Jorginho. It's with Erdegaard. White. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Guimaraes on to Almiron Callum Wilson now far from a smooth challenge now will the referee produce a card well deemed to have been a cautionable offence well no question about it he deserved his book in there determined block And he read it well. Trippier. He must finish. Well, now I think after all that, they can exhale. Well, he lost his concentration there, but he's just about got away with it. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. And space for them here on the flank. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And that's it, we've reached the halfway point here at St James's Park. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though?
So into the second half, underway once more. Newcastle with the advantage, but certainly no room for complacency. Able to get a body in the way. Could be! Oh, he saved it well. Who can they pick out? Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. Cleared away comprehensively. Promising move this from Newcastle. And the ball's gone. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Newcastle United taking on Blackburn oh, Rovers. This is a big moment here. And the ball is loose. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Chance to equalise here. A goal! Accurate from the spot! Well, when you see this again, the goalkeeper goes the right way, but it's almost the perfect penalty into that top corner. There's nothing the goalkeeper can do about that. That's brilliant. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Kossab. Regained possession. And the Magpies moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, it might be. Oh, that was begging to be put home. But the goalkeeper has it. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? But the danger averted for now. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well, this is the home of live football, and we'll have live coverage of the third round of the FA Cup for you. It's Arsenal facing Fulham. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition, and so do I. It should be a good game. Able to skip past his man. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. Joel Linton not giving him a moment's peace and room now out on the wing chance to play it in now they stopped them in their tracks breaking at pace oh beating his opponent with ease Real chance, and it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. underway at 
Daka. Teammates available. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Substitution time it is here. Trying to pick out a teammate. And it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. In with a chance. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Well, they've decided to make a change. Taken short. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And the tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Isaac. Daka. He continues his run. Marcinelli. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches. And Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, Wolves were awarded the penalty. And I think he'd be counting his blessings because it's gone off the post and it's gone in. It's now 3-1 with eight. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Jorginho. Martinelli. On space for them here. Gabriel Jesus. Firing it towards goal. No problems for the keeper. Elliot Anderson. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Thomas Partey. Now with Jesus. Now was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? 
And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo. Denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved a possible goal there, but at a cost. Just over, so close. Well, it is close, Derek, but in the end, not close enough. He just can't get it down in time. And there goes the final whistle and the final outcome, a victory for the Magpies. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today. Time for a couple of questions. Thanks, that's all the questions we have for you.